Yellow. Peanut blood and jelly. What? 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 What's up, man? So good to hear your voice. Brendan McKay could be the next big name in Major League Baseball. Out of Louisville University in 2017, he won the Golden Spikes and Dick Hauser Award as the best player and best pitcher in the country. Saturday, he debuted with the Tampa Bay Rays and threw six shutout innings, allowing just one hit, one walk, and three strikeouts. Prior to the 2019 season, McKay was ranked by Major League Baseball as the 29th prospect and 47th overall by Baseball America. Before his call-up, his pitching stats were 12-2 with a 1.85 ERA, 0.83 whip, and 212 strikeouts in just 165 innings pitched. His pitching motion starts with a nice leg kick and has a very smooth tempo throughout and his knee gets above his waistline. His release is a high three quarters. For pitches thrown, he throws a fastball 92 to 95 with a changeup curve and cutter. His best secondary pitch is his curveball. His changeup has also come a long ways in development. He has plus command, which you can tell with his .83 whip, he just does not allow batters to get on base. He reminds me a lot of Dallas Keuchel, but there's a lot more to this guy than his pitching ability. Touch him! The catch! His NCAA career at Louisville, he hit 328 with 28 home runs, 430 on base percentage, and nearly a one to one strikeout ratio. His bat is top notch as well. Since being drafted, his minor league stats in 149 games are 14 home runs with a 214 average and a 348 on base percentage. Certainly not mind blowing, but he has been flying through the minors due to his arm. And most recently, his 15 games at AAA, his stats were 265 with four home runs and just 49 at bat. What I like about his swing is his stance is straight, just past shoulder width for his feet. His stride is an early toe tap. It's not my favorite style, but it does help timing over a more powerful leg kick that is susceptible to off speed. His hips are fluid and he leads with his hands forward well. The finish is high. It reminds me a little bit of Ken Griffey Jr. or even a little bit of Jim Edmonds. Tampa Bay selected him fourth overall in the 2017 draft with full intention to let him play both ways. After suffering two oblique injuries, it appears he will only DH and pitch now, but still he could be a lethal combination, especially for a team like Tampa that operates with a very low budget and could really use him as a two-way player. Having the ability to DH or even pinch hit in off days is a big, big asset. Hopefully you'll be seeing Brendan McKay more tearing it up. Can someone get my good luck!